Okay, you guys, I'll have to conclude this conference. I'll have to talk to you at the next conference, okay? Because, um, due to a uh, situation with my camera, but um, I was saying that everybody is not your mate, okay? Everybody's not your mate. And uh, I know um, a lot of you, you feel the need like you have to settle for a demon. You don't have to settle for a demon. You don't have to settle for a demon. A lot of times, maybe um, that demon letting you down is God's way of kind of putting you, placing you in a situation where you may not have any other choice other than to get to know him. You think about it. If every demon that you go out with seems to be the same, and every demon is the same, okay? You're better off by yourself, but the purpose of you being by yourself, of your footsteps being ordered to be by yourself, because you would rather be by yourself than be with a demon, is to get to know the demon slayer, who is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God is a demon slayer. You understand what I'm saying? And so sometimes you have to have a little taste of demon in order to rather be by yourself so that you can form your relationship with the demon slayer who is God Almighty. And then let God send to you the person if it be his will, that he has selected for your life. You understand what I'm saying? Because a demon will always want something out of you and from you. A demon will never do something for you out of, out of his heart. Because a de I, I, was, <laughs> I was thinking kindness of his heart, but a demon don't have no kindness. Are you understanding what I'm saying? A demon will never do anything from, for you from a... From, how can I put it, from a uh, position of kindness because a demon has no kindness. The only thing that a demon knows how to do is insult you. When somebody expects sex out of you just because they took you on a date and um, bought you something to eat, that's an insult. That's an insult. That is something out of Satan's kingdom that is subliminally trying to call you a whore or treat you like one or expect you to wear the shoes of one. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Because nine times out of ten for a lot of you ladies out there, the meal that he bought you, you could have paid for it yourself. Or like I said, stood up in a kitchen and cooked it yourself. I once heard a long time ago, there was, I think I probably mentioned it in another conference, and then I'm, I'm going to close. There was a preacher preaching. I don't know who or what, just things out here over the years. And uh, the preacher was saying something like, uh, young lady, don't let these men make a whore out of you. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Because, see, people have the mentality that you got to go through all these men to get to that right one. Uh-uh. The only thing you need to do is go to one God to get to the right one, okay? You don't have to go through multiple demons to get to your prince. And the same thing for you brothers out there. You don't have to go through multiple demons to get to your princess. The only thing that you need to do is build your relationship with the almighty God. Make sure that your steps are ordered by him and not the devil because you know the devil tries to copycat father. And then just make sure that your behavior and your conduct is pleasing in the eye of the Lord and, he, and God will give you the desires of your heart. He said it in his word that he would give you the desires of your heart. But see, your heart has to be right with the Lord in order for the Lord to honor the desires of your heart. Okay? So with that said, God bless you all until next time. Father is real. Bye-bye.